Hey, what's up? I'm John Zadar, the Stocks Wizard. I don't normally put these sort of uh, videos out, but I'm sitting here late in the evening on the 17th of November studying charts for trading on the 18th. And I came across one I thought you might want to take a look at because I think it's going to break out tomorrow. It's going to be a day I'm watching for a 50% gain all the way up to a 500% gain. And this isn't a stretch. This is just getting back to normals. So I am looking at TWOH six month, four hour chart. And the first thing you notice folks, she's got a ton of volume right now. There is a lot of volume that is just pouring in. But on the long chart, it does show everything is falling. And you can see it has been falling. Now the first thing I wanna take advantage of here is I wanna draw a support line. You can see the price has been sitting right here for a very long time, that solid foundation there. So we're gonna draw a line right there have that fall into play over here. Now I want to come down to the next level. Let's go down to 20 day, one hour view. All right, so there's our first line right there. We definitely got a second line down here, um, right there. That would be about right. We got one right there. And let's see, we've definitely got one right there as well. Those are all supports and resistances it will be hitting on the way up. And we've got one right across here as well. You can see it stopped and sat there for a while. Right in that vicinity, we're not on the money, but we are real close. And we're down here at two cents right now. Actually, it's 1.9 cents. This first jump right here goes up to 3.2 cents. So that's about a 50% gain. And then you've got one up here at six cents. That's gonna give you 300% gain, eight cents, 400% gain, and this is just under 500% gain. And I just kind of spitballed those in there real quick. And that is just getting us up to the 200, which is where she's already been once. She hit that, rolled down, and is rolling up right now. You can see the turnaround. It's easy to see. Now, this is where I get my support for where my feelings come from. This is my PPO, my percentage price oscillator. It's a lot like the MACD, but it works with the percentage of the price, and I find it is more accurate for my entry and exit points. And I'm looking at an entry point right now. Underneath is my ADX. This is a trend continuation. It doesn't tell you what direction the trend is going, just if it's changed. So every time this line changes directions, this changes from going up to going down, to going up to going down. So now you see how this looks like a mirror image, this entire square right in here. You got the blue line coming down and the red line coming up. And then they kind of get real close together, right? So you can see that's all perfectly symmetrical. Well, now when they start to spread apart, 100% guaranteed it's going to go up because when they're coming together, it's guaranteed it's coming down. And you can see where it started to fall, the blue line and the red line start to come together. And as long as they were coming together, it was falling. Then it leveled out as this is let leveled out. And now when they start to spread, it will start to climb. And this has been brought so far down below its norm and has had a lot of, promotion, if you will. There's been a lot of buzz online about this, and it hasn't exactly done what everybody was expecting. But now it's very tempting, and the technical show that is going to grow. Let's come on down to that five-day, five-minute. All right. You can see how she has fallen over the last few days, and she's come down, and she is just under her 200-day here. And she is, I'm going to zoom in on this area right here real close. We're going to come in on our one-day view and spread that out a bit. So she has been what we call consolidating. There's been a lot of hesitation, a little trade in, a little trade out. People are just letting everything steady down. And now we are getting our breakout, folks. She is breaking out above the 50. She's pushing towards the 200. We're on our five minute now. And our technicals, you can see our blue line here is pushing up. Our red line is pushing down. That pattern is beginning. Our RSI is very high right now. And our MACD, though it's tough to read, is on the positive side. It's above the signal line and above the other line as well. I think this is gonna take off, folks, backing out 10 days. That's the perfect view that you wanna look at right there. And you know, I'm gonna throw in, I know it's probably gonna clutter the board, but I'm gonna throw in a, uh, 
Is that my Fibonacci? There it is. I'm going to throw our Fibonacci in here from the high right there. Nah, that's not the Fibonacci. Let me get the Fib. <laughs> Got the wrong one. There you go. From our high bubble down here to our low bubble right there. So we are down here on the floor, this very bottom line, halfway point, which is what this basically gives you is right up here at what price are we at there seven about seven cents which is going to give you 350 percent gains just getting up to that point we drew a support just a little bit above that now you can either use the supports and resistances i put in or you can use the fibonacci this will tell you and they're pretty close this will tell you you know where it may hesitate and you may want to take your gains there see if it's going to break through or see if it's going to come down you got to use your technicals but all of these lines whether it be the fibonacci or what i have just put up these can actually help you know when to get in and out but what i really like is my ppo and my adx i like to follow those lines when one of the two either one of them changes direction while it's climbing I know it's going to stop climbing and that's my exit point and maybe it does flux back and start climbing again now, I don't get out immediately I wait for confirmation bars one or two bars on my five minute chart but most people play the game on the long chart on the yearly chart on a six month chart gives them a much better feel for where the day is going to go instead of minute to minute but when you're getting out soon you do want to be close to the game you want to be right in there and i normally get in on my five minute to one minute when i'm going to exit i want to know what's going on but the minute can be a little twitchy so five minute is where i like to sit we are looking at a 30 minute right now so if you're looking for a 50 percent gain 100 200 300 400 or 500 percent gain TWOH is something I'm putting my money on. I think you might want to consider it too. The technicals look real strong. Do some more DD. There may actually be some news or catalyst to back it up. Pow! Good luck for you tomorrow.